So off the back of the video that I did with Dammit Jeff where I designed the Vita Dock, and if you haven't seen that video yet, go click up there somewhere, it's a really good video. But anyway, off the back of that, I decided to get a new device. Well, I say new, it's not a brand new device, they've been out for a while, but I decided to get myself a Steam Deck, and it's the OLED version this time. So, massive shout out to the guy on Facebook that I bought it from. It's a one terabyte, so it is the top of the range one with an anti-glare screen. But anyway, I digress. I managed to get myself an OLED Steam Deck. And as I said off the back of Dammit Jeff's video, I wanted to make my own Steam Deck dock. Now, just a quick note here, I did get another Steam Deck just because of how popular the installing non-Steam games on the Steam Deck and installing cracked games on the Steam Deck videos have been. So I am going to do an updated video on that and we're going to do updated video on emulation, etc. So expect a lot more Steam Deck videos coming real soon. Now, when I bought the Steam Deck, I actually got a few extra bits as well. One of them being the official Steam Deck dock, which was great. I didn't need a dock, but you know what I'm like by now. The dock was missing one key thing and of course that's RGB. So I wanted to design a dock that also had a really cool RGB light bar on the front. So let's jump on over to Fusion 360 where I do all my 3D CAD work and have a look at the dock I designed. So here we are on Fusion 360 and this is the basic design. Now this is where the LED panel goes and there's a little hole at the front there for the wires to go through. On the left hand side this is where we'll slide in that anchor dock and you can see all the ports on the back USB-C and then there's three USB ports and then we have the HDMI. On the end is the USB-C port to power the ESP32. Now if we flip the dock around and look at the bottom, we can see where I've put the screw holes to attach the bottom plate. There's five in total. So this will securely hold that bottom plate. And let's take a look at that bottom plate now. As you can see, the screws are recessed, so it'll be nice and flat. So let's have a look at that LED light panel on the front. Now, as you can see, it's got deck dock written on it, and this can be changed to different colors when using Bamboo Lab Studio, courtesy of the AMS. So I've made a few different designs. This one has kind of a Adidas inspired logo on the left hand side. This is just a plain one if you don't want anything on it. This is one that I made for a friend of mine, Panda. This looks really cool. And then we have this final design, which is all paint splattered with deck dock on. That one looks really cool, and I'll show you that a little bit later on. So we have the design, and now it's time to print it. But while it's printing, here's a quick message from today's sponsor, JLC PCB, because this video wouldn't have been possible without them. Now I'm sure everyone's heard of JLC PCB by now. They make absolutely amazing PCBs as you can see these RGB ones that I use for various projects and they do this because they've got a state-of-the-art facility that offers fast reliable PCBs at competitive prices and it's super easy to order them and they're always running special offers. Now don't just take my word for it let's have a look at the process in action. Drag and drop your Gerber file across here it'll load and show you a preview of the PCB on the front and the back. Over here you can select how many PCBs you want, minimum 5, and here you can select the thickness. You can change the colour, we're going to go for white because it's my favourite, and as you can see it's only $4.80, absolute bargain. So for the latest offers and more information check out the links in the description below. So thanks again to JLC PCB for sponsoring this video. Now of course we are going to need some electronics and I wanted to make this dock as cheap as possible. So I went on Amazon and I found this really cool Anchor USB-C dongle and it was only £13, around $13 and it was the cheapest one I could find that would actually work with this project. Now you are making one sacrifice here, you don't have the Ethernet wired network adapter on it but to be honest with you I never really use that anyway because the Wi-Fi on the Steam Deck is more than good enough and paying extra money just to have that 
ethernet port that I'll never use and I dare say most other people are not really going to use it because let's face it Wi-Fi is good enough. Now of course the shell itself is 3D printed if you don't have a 3D printer you can ask a friend or you can always order it from JLC 3DP of course they don't just do PCBs they do 3D printed parts as well so that you do have options. Now the other parts you're going to need of course is an ESP32 and that RGB board you can use just a cut down LED light strip if you so wish. The RGB is optional because it's not to everyone's taste so that front panel if you just print it in the same color as the case or maybe a contrasting color you don't actually have to have an RGB strip behind it, the ESP32 and that USB-C port. Of course everything's going to be linked in the description below as always and the Amazon links are affiliate links so I'll get a little bit of a kickback at no cost to you. Now one last thing before we actually go and have a look at that, I want to give a shout out to Tom Love for sending this really cool microscope making projects like this so much easier. It has a 10 inch screen, 1080p recording, HDMI out, 1500x zoom. It's just a fantastic microscope. It makes things so much easier. Full metal base with the bar at the back so it's nice and sturdy. And as you can see from this quick clip here where we're adding a USB-C port to the Vita 2000, it's actually really good quality and it's going to be really important with the channel going forward getting really high quality footage anyway enough about that let's have a look at the parts and get this dock assembled so we've got everything we need to put this dock together we've got the main body itself and then we've got the cover for the bottom we have the anchor USB-C hub and this has got all the ports that I'm going to need which is HDMI. We have three USB ports and then the power delivery so we can use the original Steam Deck charger. Now someone commented on a previous video saying you shouldn't hardwire things so this is a USB-C port that I just cut the end off and put in the back. Now I've already put that RGB board in here as you can see and the wires are soldered and they go through this little hole out the other side and then connect to that ESP32. As I said this isn't an ESP32 video if you want to see that click on the top left hand corner and go check out that video but we can see the USB-C port there taking power to the ESP32. Obviously this is only necessary if you want RGB in the front. So we've put the bottom plate on and I'm going to go ahead and screw those five screws. Now these are M3 screws, link is in the description as always and they're recessed so they will sit nice and flush. And as we tilt it on the side you can definitely see the screws don't stick out. So the panel on the front, this is Eason's really cheap PLA that lets loads of light through. So it's perfect for applications like this because it really does a great job at diffusing those LEDs. So next it's time to put the anchor dock in and I need to watch what I'm saying here. It's friction fit, so it's difficult to get it in. Oh, even that sounds bad. It's stiff to get it in, but once it's in, it's in. So. But yeah that's what she said comments below so one of the reasons i wanted to have a good fit is so it didn't fall out so as you can see i'm twirling it around here and it's absolutely fine so here's my steam deck and as we plug the cable in at the top and take a look at the back we can see that the cable is the perfect length for the steam deck so this is a really good fit it's not going to pull or tug on the cable it's not going to dangle around all over the place oh my god that's what she said anyway basically it's a really good fit so while i was printed one for myself and for this video i decided to do one for panda as well and we've done it in atomic purple translucent pet g by bamboo labs it looks awesome but let's have a look at those light bars to see how they look when lit up so first up we tried the plain one and that looks awesome even without anything on it having deck dock in black courtesy of the ams looks great and then we inverted it and it looks even better so to build on that i'd put a logo which is inspired by adidas on it again looks amazing and then we tested the panda one 
Also, they all look amazing. The paint splatter is the only one with three colours because Deck Duck is actually in Filamentive's orange. So as you can see, it's all assembled and it's looking fantastic and everything works perfect. Now, as I said, everything's going to be linked in the description below and that anchor USB-C to sort of dock attachment is really good. It's really cheap and it does the job. So I'm going to end the video here, but thanks again to JLCPCB for sponsoring this video and thanks to you guys for watching. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do. Like, subscribe and then hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. I'm JP and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.